Hello! Today we're going to quickly walk through a few basics of making a video in Photoshop. Let's start by walking through a few assets I'll be using. I have two stock video, a branded outro, I have audio, a stock image in a working Photoshop file, and a company logo. When you open Photoshop, click Create New, and then go to the top and select Film and Video. You'll be shown standard video size presets. Today we'll be using 1280 by 720. Once you've opened your preset, you'll want to go down and select Create Video Timeline. Now I'm going to go to my folder and drag my three stock videos into Photoshop. They've opened up in individual tabs and you will right click, duplicate layer, and bring that over to our working doc. Once it's where we need it to be, we can exit out of that tab, no need to save, and then repeat that with the next two videos. Now we have all of our videos in our timeline and we can remove this extra layer Photoshop started us with. You can use this tool at the bottom to zoom in and zoom out of your timeline. From here you can start rearranging your video in the order you'd like them to be. All of our stock video is larger than our preset style, so we'll need to shrink those down by selecting the video by holding Command T and holding down Shift to keep the video dimensions the same. I will repeat these steps with the next two videos. You can preview the clips by dragging the little arrow across the video. You can also trim your clips by dragging the end back and forth. The little scissor icon allows you to cut clips, which you can then delete. Now I'm going to drag my image into Photoshop. And I'll bring that one over the same way I did the video. All right, now here it is on the end there. Now I'll drag that one up to the layer above my two video. And I'll resize that one because it's also pretty big. Drag it where I need it to be. Now if you click this little arrow on the right, you'll get motion options. We're going to select pan. Now here you can select what direction you want it to pan in. And because we already have the image the size you want it to, you're going to uncheck fill canvas. Now we can slide the little arrow along to get a little preview of what that pan would look like. Now this icon over here will bring up all your fade options along with a tool that'll allow you to change the duration of your fade. And then you just drag the fade you want onto your clip. You can then drag it if you want it to be a little longer than what you set your duration to be. And you can drag the little arrow over to see your little fade preview. So now we can bring in our working Photoshop document, which has a texture that we use in a lot of our branded content. We'll bring those layers onto our video the same way we did the other videos and image. Once we have them there, we'll move them to where we want them to be and move them to the length we'd like them to be. Once they're where you'd like them to be, you can then change the opacity so you can have a textured layer over your video. Now I'm going to move my branded outro to the bottom layer. This way I can add a fade to all the clips above and then make a smooth transition to the end of the video. So another neat thing you can do in Photoshop video is you can add shapes. And you can drag those around much like your other video clips and make them as long or as short as you want them to be. So adding text to your Photoshop video is very much the same as adding text in any other Photoshop document. So you just make sure you have it at the layer you want, add in your text, and then you can resize or change the font as you like. All right, so now I'll add a little fade to my text and I'll make sure the square lines up with my text and add the same length of fade so that it matches up. All right, once you have all your elements in there, you can start playing around with length and size to make sure everything in your video lines up exactly the way you want it to. Now we can add in audio. So I select add audio, go into my video folder, Select the audio I had set aside and open. Now I'll want to zoom out 
and then I'll trim that down so it's the length of my video. Then I can go in here, collect this arrow, and I'll have the option to change volume and then add a fade in or a fade out. All right, so now I'm gonna add my logo. So I'll go back to my folder, drag that into Photoshop, and then I'll bring that one over the same way I brought everything else over. And there it is, and I'll bring that to the topmost layer. Move some things around. All right, now I wanna change the size of this, so I'll shrink it down and put it up here in this corner. And I'll drag it up to make sure it's the length of my video, and I'll add that same fade so that it fades out with everything else. Then I'll drag my arrow along to get a little preview of my video with my logo. If I feel like it's not standing out enough, I can go up into layer styles and maybe add a little drop shadow in there. And if I preview it and I see that I don't love it, then I can just get rid of it. Once my video is where I need it to be, I can save as, we're gonna call it test video and put it in my little folder. And once that's all ready to go, I click this little arrow in the bottom, which is the render button. Here I can name my MP4, I can select the folder where I'm gonna save it, and then various other video format options, and then you hit render. And we now have a final video that looks like this.